Next event on the track is event 204, which is the girls under 12, 1500 metre. This is a straight final. Uh, this is a straight final. In lane one, we have Kate from Bendigo, two, Nikki from Collingwood, three, Cassie from Moe, four, Chelsea from Bendigo, five, Taya from Berwick, six, April from Altona, seven, Fatima from Essendon, eight, Lenny from Ballarat, nine, Eloise from Sandringham, ten, Keeley from Altona, eleven, Miller from Williamstown, twelve, Monique from Box Hill, thirteen, Emily from Sale, fourteen, Willow from Caulfield. On your mark. Fifteen Priya from Pox Hill, sixteen Zoe from Yarra Rangers, seventeen Ava from Werribee, eighteen Grace from Bendigo, nineteen Madigan from Essendon, twenty Abigail from Keelor, twenty-one Mia from Sandringham, twenty-two Estelle from Kyton, and in station twenty-three we have Kayla from Diamond Valley. So the fastest qualifier in this event is out off to a great start. Mia Gray, five oh four is her seeded time. Next best seated time after me would be Cassie Farley coming in at about a 5.11. So do expect quite the lead of Mia at the moment with Cassie from Moe there with the glasses and the pink socks following in behind her. And the athlete from Essendon there you see is Madigan Carroll and I believe it's Chelsea Tickle there in fourth. So these girls did battle it out yesterday as well in the 800 if you were tuning in then. And then we've got the Ballarat athlete it looks like just tailing the back of that group there. That looks like it's Lenny Williams. So me is there still out in front at the moment. The lead hasn't changed much at all those first four competitors. I do believe it was those three there in that second group of athletes that were minor places in the medals yesterday. So we've got Cassie, Chelsea and Madigan. So the groups are starting to string out a little bit. Can't see the ones just prior to these ones coming into shot at the moment. The athletes are going from being quite strung out to then grouping back up. So the pace is fluctuating a bit uh, with those girls in that group at the moment. So we'll see how we go to see if it does spread out a little bit more. But Mia Gray, she's going to be probably handling this race on her own the entire way. She's done it all so far. Cassie Farley just there behind her, but it's a lonely time out there in front for three and three quarter laps. So that gap remains about 30 meters. A bit hard to see on that camera. But the battle is between those three for the minor places. This is a straight final, so they don't have a time final. So first three across the line take out the medals. So it looks like Cassie's uh, sustaining that lead in the second position at the moment from the third and fourth competitors. But it is going to be a battle for the medals, I still believe, um, between third and fourth. And possibly whether Cassie's going to be challenged by these two coming up behind her, which is Chelsea and Madigan. So Mia's still coming through in the lead. It might have closed the gap just a slight bit, but she looks strong out in front at the moment and she's coming up for the bell lap. And coming through the bell lap at probably about a 3.49, she crosses the line at.
So that second group, Luff Athletes, looks like it's about starting to change just a little bit. Uh, Chelsea Tickles moving up into third. And she's closing in on Cassie Farley there in second place at the moment. It is still Mia out in front at the moment with about a, probably about 160 metres to go. The change in that second, third and fourth position has really, really opened up now as well. Chelsea Tickles passed over the sh shoulder of Cassie Farley now. So now she's chasing down now first place at the moment. So Mia, I'm sure, will have a strong finish in her tank left over to come across the line. But Chelsea Tickle, um, well done to her. Really strong finish in second place at the moment. But it is going to be Mia. She's been out there the whole time by herself. She stops to watch as she comes across the line. 5-14. Chelsea Tickle in second place. Cassie Farley in third. And a late dash by the Yarra Rangers. Zoe Clark, I think it is. There in fourth over Madigan Carroll from Essendon. Lenny Williams from Ballarat. And the remainder of our competitors in this under-12 girls 1,500 metre event. Really strong finishes there by a couple of the athletes. So as our final competitors come across the line and just entering the straight, A great effort there by all the under 12 girls.